Okay, other really cool stuff. Uh, if I create a new software instrument and open up my library. Those of you who are really into vintage instruments, vintage MIDI instruments, actually, <laughs> this goes pre-MIDI, um, there's actually a pretty cool Mellotron library now. If I go to Vintage Mellotron, these are all recorded from the original Mellotron, Mellotron tapes. So they're very clean. They're just really nice sounding Mellotron sounds. <laughs> now there's actually up there's a, over 200 new synth patches that you should go and explore within the uh, the library. The vintage Mellotron is just one that happens to be singled out. If you go into cinematic, highly recommend going into cinematic. Also checking out some of the new synthesizer patches. Some of the dub oriented stuff is very very cool. Definitely check out some of the new uh, Apple Loop content as well. If you just go browsing through that, I think you'll be really happy. So that's pretty cool. Now if I go to Synthesizer, and um, actually I'm going to load it from scratch. So I'll reset the channel strip and load myself up a Retro Synth. One of the cool things that they did with the Retro Synth, there's this thing called Wavetable Synthesis. And basically what you do is as you're holding your key down, you can move through this entire table of different little waves that are cycling really, really quickly. Um, if I pull this to the right and left, you'll hear me cycling through all the different sounds. Now what they did is they had a default table, which is what we've always heard in RetroSynth, but now there are all these other tables that we can choose from. It's best to hear it with the filter turned all the way up, or just turned off. So that's pretty cool. But what's even cooler is that if you record your own sound and have little pieces of space in between um, every sound that you create. So you create a sound, have a little space, create another sound, create a space, create another sound. You can actually load your own waves into this thing. Create wavetable from audio file. So I'll just choose a random audio file for now. Let's say um, I'll choose my Logic Ninja intro. Why not? <laughs> okay, it contains four waveforms. Let's see what those sound like. Oh yeah, it's not too exciting because I just took it from a random wave file. If you had more of a um, a prepared wave file where you have a little sound space, another sound space, another sound. It'll load hundreds of sounds into your wavetable. So I highly recommend um, checking that out as well. I think that that's very, very cool. So between the drummers and the Mellotrons, the new uh, synth patches and retro synth, I mean, it's pretty tremendous content. Also with the Apple Loops, that um, the new Apple Loops that are downloadable um, that you'll get with 10.1, uh, really, really great stuff. So that is the synth instrument portion of the thing. There's a couple of other uh, improvements that they've made with Logic. Uh, one of the biggest ones, uh, I, I think, as far as organization is concerned, is the plugin manager. very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals 
of understanding how things work. That's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more. And that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music. Um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.